Cutting Edge Optronics has a long history of designing, manufacturing, and deploying robust diode-pumped solid-state lasers for the demanding airborne LiDAR applications of mine detection, mapping, bathymetry, and wind detection. CEO lasers have flown critical data collecting missions for military, scientific, and commercial needs over some of the most uninhabitable environments on Earth. Here at CEO, we actually have leveraged the, the, the lessons learned in building military products and the commercial products to build uh, systems that are intended to fly. So they're ruggedized, they're hardened, uh, they're designed not to require user adjustment, and then we do an awful lot of uh, testing here on site to make sure that they're robust before they go out. CEO's 36,000 square foot ISO certified manufacturing facility is equipped to manufacture and environmentally test all components and completed laser systems to ensure they are mission ready. Every laser that we build goes through thermal testing. Every laser we build goes through at least a workmanship vibe test, and then we have the ability to do qualification for shock and, and items like that. It's on site, so we're able to uh, do it quickly, cost effectively, and then I think the biggest advantage is we're able to do it on every single laser system. So when a customer receives one of these systems, they know that the laser they're going to receive has been fully vetted and tested, and it's going to operate in the environment they're expecting it to operate in. What differentiates cutting-edge optronics from other airborne laser manufacturers is our ability to utilize in-house resources to fabricate components for the entire laser system. With this manufacturing infrastructure in place, we are able to concentrate on rapid prototyping and testing of the system design to ensure the completed laser system will meet payload, platform, and performance requirements in an efficient and cost-effective manner. So CEO lasers are currently flying all over the world, uh, ranging from locations like the Arctic, Antarctica. We have systems that are doing all kinds of mapping applications across coastlines everywhere. CEO's military airborne laser systems fly on aircraft like MH-60 helicopters, C-130s, and P-3s, while CEO's commercial airborne laser systems fly on twin-engine turboprop aircraft like the Beach King Air and larger aircraft such as the DC-8. Newly developed techniques and merging technologies are allowing CEO to keep up with detection advancements on these platforms. You know, for new technology, I think uh, there's two things that come to mind. First, uh, we recently have developed two different methods for providing injection-seated laser systems in airborne environments. Traditionally, this has been very difficult because of the vibration considerations, but made a lot of progress on that front, and now we're offering two models that have single-frequency operation. The second is what we call our hybrid laser system. So this is a combination of fiber laser technology and some of our core bulk solid state laser technology. Offers advantages that you can go to much higher rep rates, short pulsed widths, but keep a high energy per pulse, which uh, you can't really do with one system or another. So the, the merger of those two technologies has really opened the doors to a lot of new applications. So oftentimes we get asked, what is, a, what is the performance envelopes of the, the systems that we make? For a lot of the airborne applications that, that we do, those tend to operate in the regime of a kilohertz up to 10 kilohertz, and uh, energies per pulse, about five millijoules per pulse on the kilohertz side, upwards to a couple of millijoules per pulse on the 10 kilohertz side. The latter community is always changing, and uh, there's new detection technologies that uh, are starting to uh, come into existence that uh, these new new laser technologies will support. So the higher rep rates, the short pulse, pulse durations especially. Uh, and, and what that gives the end user is the ability to uh, take more data so they have a higher point density on if, if they're doing mapping applications. Uh, the short pulse also gives them the ability to have higher resolution so they can measure to a more precise resolution on the ground. You know, CEO is a great choice for airborne lasers especially. You know, we manufacture everything here. So we manufacture diode pump solid state lasers. We build the diodes, we manufacture the diodes here. We manufacture the diode arrays. We manufacture the gain modules that those arrays go into. And then we build up the, the full system, laser system, and do all the testing and evaluation here. So if at some point, some change needs to be made in, in the laser system to meet a specific requirement. We're not really relying on outside uh, vendors to provide that special part. We can do all of that here internally.